Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be showing you a really quick but really, really effective way of editing. And this is a really good technique to use in interviews and vlog style stuff. It's something that's gonna be pretty obvious, but if you don't know it, it can be extremely helpful. I know that when I learned it, it really helped bring my interview stuff and my vlog stuff up to another level. So here's just some footage of me talking that I cut together so that it removed the mistakes and you know the, the thoughts where I was just sitting there and thinking. And then so I just kind of put it together like this. And you can see that the, oh, let me go back to here. Let me make everything 100 real quick. So yeah, you can see right here that when it jumps across, it looks a little off. I had to move the camera and, you know, just restart myself. And that kind of throws everything off. Even if the camera's in the exact same spot, it makes you look like you're jumping around the camera. And if that's not your goal, then that's not something that you want. So to fix this, what we can actually do is do something called a jump cut. And it's really simple. It's just using the scale um, for you. What's really good is if you have some footage that's larger than your composition, like this is a 1080p composition right here, and I'm using 2.7K footage. That allows me a little extra room to zoom and to zoom out so that I can kind of move around the frame more freely. Doesn't lead to pixelation. You can do this with the exact, you know, like uh, 1080p on 1080p, but you might get a little bit reduced quality when you try to do something like this. So we're gonna go from 100 right here, and then in here, we're gonna zoom it out a little bit. And then let's see, move it up some. And there's a beautiful face of me right there. Um, and then so yeah, right here. So now it kind of, if you see, it kind of flows it together. It almost like pushes from one to the next. It looks like I'm going from one thought into the next thought instead of the really boring quick jump like it looks like I messed up. And you can do this throughout the entire footage, jumping in, jumping out, moving the frames around, and you'll, you can make one camera seem like a bunch of cameras. You can add some interest to it. Now the real trick to make this work is to not only apply jump cuts to where you messed up or there are cuts, but to randomly put in ones as well. And what I mean is we have a really long piece of footage here and a really long piece of footage here. And so the best way to do it is kind of like divvy it up. Um, you wanna be a little bit more specific than this. Look for parts where it looks like it could be cool if it jumped across. So like maybe when your hands are like trying to describe something, to zoom out so it kind of shows your hands. And what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna create the illusion that these cuts were in there all along, that we're not jumping every time we mess up, that we're jumping to keep the flow going. And that's really what ties it together, is that so now when we have all these jumps in here, they all look natural. And so maybe you have like a ratio of like, seven natural ones to three unnatural ones, and your mind, when you're watching the video, won't try to find the, the unnatural ones. It'll just keep the flow going, and that's what's really, really important and what's really, really neat about this simple technique. So yeah, I hope that you guys can use this in your vlogs to you know, kind of boost up that, that production value and to keep things more interesting, because you gotta keep the camera moving to keep things interesting. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial, really simple simple, really quick, and I hope that it's really helpful. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below, or suggestions for more videos, or maybe stuff that I could do differently. I'm always open to criticism. Um, as well as, if you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I like to post a lot of Adobe-related content, kind of focused around the video sphere of things. Thanks, everyone, and until next time, guys, see ya.